What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back here again with another video. I'm ready to check out WWE Top 20 Loudest Standing Ovations in History. There are a few times in wrestling, especially in WWE, where the crowd enjoys what they saw in the ring or maybe they enjoyed what they heard on a microphone from someone giving a promo and they give a standing ovation to show appreciation for what they saw, or what they heard. And I love those moments, man. And I know the wrestlers, they love those moments when it happens because those are the type of moments that are not scripted. Genuinely, the fans love and appreciate what they just saw or what they just witnessed. So we're going to check this out. Out. Appreciate all the love and support. Road to 50k, and uh, let's check this bad boy out. And make Hulk Hogan cry. Yeah, this you can tell by the quality. This is an old, an old clip. Look at that, man. Damn, man. Look at that, bro. You can't you can't fake that type of emotion. You can't fake that type of emotion, man. <laughs> I'm hooking up, brother. <laughs> you guys are overwhelming. Man, Sami Zayn, man, definitely deserve. He definitely deserves some type of potential main event run at some point. Hopefully, he does get that. But he's very a very talented worker, and uh, the crowd loves him, heel or face. He's he's good, man. And I I really wish WWE really would have pulled the trigger on him, moving him up the ladder. I know he was. Uh, in a mid-card view with Kevin Owens a few times, but I really wanted him to at least get some type of main event push run because he has the appeal and people love him. Look at this. Monday Night Raw. Damn. Oh, the signs. They're on their feet. That's, 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 that's nice to hear a Christian chant. Listen to his lame ass CD, John Cena. <laughs> This right here, this right here, and I think this took place, this Elimination Chamber took place in Houston, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm getting goosebumps talking about this moment because this was the moment people wanted Kofi Kingston to win. He was that close to winning a WWE Championship. He, I believe he was one of, if not the last competitor to go against uh, Daniel Bryan. He was the last competitor to go against Daniel Bryan in the match. He almost won it. And you could see how people got behind him. At this moment right here, this was one of the main events for WrestleMania. It was no denying. It was no denying it at this point. Kofi Mania was running wild because people bought into him potentially winning the WWE Championship. Now, granted, Mustafa Ali was supposed to have this role, but I think he ended up getting injured by Randy Orton or something like that. So it was supposed to be Mustafa Ali in this position. But Kofi Kingston getting the reception he got was beautiful and ultimately gave him that momentum and that push to win the WWE Championship. Let's watch this, bro. <laughs> He put on a fantastic match, too. One of the better elimination chambers we've had in a while. This was it. This was the moment right here. Oh, we're going back with the retro clips. 
<laughs> this was a fantastic match. Fantastic match. Uh anything when it goes to any when it comes to Johnny Gargano, man, is just always gold. Especially when it it's about NXT TakeOver. It's just gold, bro. He's just fantastic. He is NXT. He is Mr. TakeOver, bro. For real, for real. He, I don't know how many countless great matches Johnny Gargano has been a part of. That crowd. <laughs> yeah, I remember that day. Oh, Jericho had came back. I want to say this had to be like 2007. They was running these promos. You didn't know what was going on. He finally comes out, bro. Jericho finally came back after many, many years of not being on WWE, bro. This was this was dope. With the light up jacket. This was dope. Bro. Oh, it's Y2J. I remember when that happened. The light up jacket. Oh, Just didn't have enough. Ah, oh, man, bro. <sighs> he was never the same. He was so over. Got to the main roster. They they was using him for a little bit. And after the feud he had with AJ Styles at WrestleMania, um, well, the match he had with AJ Styles at WrestleMania, it just went downhill for him. I really... It's just really sad how WWE just, you, it's not hard. You literally pick in place from NXT to the main roster. It's not hard, bro. They're going to get over. But they, they just they just ruin people's characters. They were already fine before they got to the main roster. I don't get that. <laughs> He doesn't really speak that much English, but the fans still love him. Of course, bro. When you hit a glass break, it doesn't matter. You're going to get hyped. And shout out to Triple H. He was, I believe, at the game one for the Eastern Conference uh, semifinals between uh, Philly and Atlanta. He was there. He uh, walked out with, I believe, uh, uh, Joel and beat he walked out with them they they walked out to the D, uh, DX theme uh theme song theme music and they walked out giving the the X the crotch chops man and he uh Triple H rang the bell for um for uh Philadelphia man so I thought that was dope the crowd reaction he got just lets you know that anybody like Triple H Stone Cold The Undertaker uh The Rock these legends even though people probably don't even be watching wrestling, they still remember these guys. And when they heard DX theme song and they heard, or well, they seen Triple H come out there, the crowd reaction was like, like it used to be back in the day in Attitude Era. So, classic, man. We've lost it. You knew someone was getting stunned. <laughs> changed. <laughs> you look great. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I love this is my favorite theme song, one of my favorite theme songs in WWE ever. And this was Kane's best theme song. I don't care what nobody say. Don't at me. Respect 
Red. No matter how he looks, he is still the Big Red Machine. His fans are on their feet. That's dope. And these fans in Montreal got the right to be ugly, but he abuses the privilege. Wait, wait. Oh yeah, he was he was back in, in his uh I I wanna say it was his hometown. I'm not sure. I wanna I know it was his home state, but I'm not sure if it was his hometown. Comment down below, let me know. But he was loved there. Like this was this was his home turf, so it didn't matter, man. Like Brock was gonna get major cheers here. What an incredible scene! Someone got a Lesnar football jersey. That's dope, bro. That's dope. I remember watching this. Wait a minute. It's the boss. It's because of the ECW fans that Paul Heyman. <laughs> this was his return back from battling with leukemia. He had to relinquish the Universal Championship, so he had came back to a thunderous crowd reception. Of course he wasn't gonna get booed. Like it, it was, you know, it was one of those things where people, even if you didn't like Roman Reigns' character, you still felt for the guy because you wanted to you wanted him to overcome the, you know, his battles with leukemia. So this was a, a real good feel good moment, man. And I remember actually watching this live. I'm in remission, y'all. That 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 was dope, man. I'm getting goosebumps just watching that moment. This right here. This right here. Watching this live, this is when Raw was so much wa uh, watchable. Watching him come back, I never thought he was gonna come back for a long, long time, bro. Shane McMahon coming back to television. As a presence on television was one of the dopest things and one of the most talked about things when this happened, bro. With the icy ones on. Look at that, bro. That, that was a holy S moment, bro, because no one expected Shane to come back. This is when Triple H had came back from his injury. The crowd reception from that. Look at that. You love to hear it, the glass break. This was a dope moment because no one thought he would ever come back to WWE ever in any capacity because there was so much bad blood from the Montreal screw job situation. They never thought they would ever see Brett back on WWE television. So this was a dope moment in itself. Mercy. After WrestleMania 30, man. Oh, 
one of the greatest Monday. This was one of the greatest Monday Night Raws after Mania, bro. Look at this. He had the whole WWE universe behind him. One of the greatest just WWE like title runs. And what I mean by title runs, like chase for the championship of all time. Because they were screwing Daniel Bryan over so many times. And you didn't know if they really was going to pull the trigger. Of course, CM Punk with CM Punk leaving the company that it kind of put things into motion because they really wasn't going to give him the titles. But ultimately, things happened the way they happened, and it, we got one of the greatest WrestleMania moments and one of the greatest Raw uh, after Raw WrestleMania moments of all time. This is great. Right now. Look at that, man. Look at that. You deserve it. And he did deserve Hollywood it. Hollywood Hulk Hogan. That'll be a great feeling for, for Hollywood Hogan right now. Look look at the reach. Look at that, man. Montreal Canadian team. This is amazing. I know it. This is great. I don't think I've ever seen Look at that, like man. This. You got almost over 20,000 people chanting your name, man. That's, man, moments like that, It, it this entire video, I had nothing but damn near goosebumps for every clip. And it's special moments like that to make you go back and watch those moments on YouTube or on now. It's not the WWE Network, but on Peacock. But it's, it's it makes wrestling what it is, man. It makes wrestling great you know moments like that that you can always be like damn i remember watching that live i remember how the crowd was just you know just overzealous with hyping you know what I'm saying just showing that that particular wrestler that at that particular moment all the love and adulation that they deserve but comment down below let me know what was your favorite standing ovation moment from this video if i had to choose man like legit had to choose i'm still gonna go with daniel bryan on the monday night raw after wrestlemania one of the best standing ovations i i remember seeing in recent memory bro it was it was just it was pure it was just nothing but just enjoyment and people finally the fans actually finally got what they wanted for the first time in a very long time. So, comment down below. Let me know. I would love your thoughts and opinions. Appreciate all the love and support. Roll to 50K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.